Global Investor Summit 2023. I am Vishakhapatnam, director of Suggest Work a Day module to familiarize the students with the industry. PS Educational Society honored Dr. Revathi Parameshwaran, principal PS Aguinea Secondary School. Columbia University permanently drops standardized test requirements for the undergrad applicants. Education Minister to launch self-paced learning assessment platforms for students. Utkal Gaurav International School inaugurated in Odisha. IIT Kanpur hosts annual startup fest Abhivyakti 2023. Good afternoon and welcome. welcome. You are watching Education News Network where you get to watch the latest developments in education at the top of this app. This is Balaji reporting from ENN and the Daily Stories app. Indian Institute of Management, Vishakhapatnam Director Prof. M. Chandrasekhar suggested evolving a model of making the students work in the industry for one or day in his or her first year courses, two days in her second year courses and three days in their third courses. So on to equip them with the needed skill set before completing their courses. Speaking during the panel discussion conducted on the theme of the skilling and education as a part of the two-day Global Investor Summit on Saturday, Professor Chandrasekhar said the Indian Skill Report 2022 points to the fact that Andhra Pradesh is the among the top destinations in terms of supplying maximum employable talent and English language skills. The state can bank on the huge talent pool, knowing the customers is the key for the business endeavor. For us, the educational institutions, society, government and the business are the customers. We need to make sure the products are suitable and useful to all customers. Knowing is not enough, we must apply. Uh, willing is not enough, we must do, said Chandrasekhar. AICT Chief Coordinating Officer Dr. Buddha Chandrasekhar spoke about the fast changing technology scenario and that we need to keep updated with the changes. For instance, data analyst, artificial intelligence and machine learning may play a key role in making the, uh, an automobile further rather than an automobile engineer. The curriculum should be aligned with the latest trends and in emerging technologies. This will help to make the students of Andhra Pradesh a global workforce, Dr. Chandrasekhar said. PS Educational Society honored Dr. Revati Parmeshwaran, principal of PS Secondary School of the contribution to the education during the Founders Day program held on 1st of March 2023. D.K. Hari, founder and the managing director of Bharatiya Gyan, was the chief guest. Columbia University will no longer require the undergraduate students to submit their standardized test scores, making it first live language in school in permanently to test go test optional. This means the undergraduate applications will no longer have to send the SAT and the ACT as standardized test scores. The university announced the decision on the undergraduate admissions web page on Wednesday. In a statement, the university stated that it crafted its applications to allow flexibility for the students to represent themselves fully and showcase their academic talents. Standardized testing is not required for the component of our application, it added. Notably, Columbia University has not required the test scores from the applications since the 2020 to 2021 academic school year, when it dropped the requirement amid the COVID-19 pandemic. The university has extended the policy through the 2023 to 2024 school year last February, according to the New York Post. The decision was rooted in the belief that the students are dynamic, multifaceted individuals who cannot be defined by any single factor, the university said. The Ministry of Education is set to launch a platform that will give the students of self-paced interactive learning and assessments to prepare for comparative and other exam according to the University Grants Commission Chairman M. Jagdish Kumar. The platform self-assessment test and help for entrance exams has been prepared in association with the Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur with this platform aims to bridge the gap of the students in the society who cannot afford the costly entrance exam guidance and coaching. It aims to make the students learn the concept and focus on their weak topics so that they feel confident to give any exam by watching videos prepared by IIT and IISC faculty members. Kumar said in a series of the tweets, the platform will be launched by the Union Education Minister on March 6th. Utkal Gaurav International School on March 4th announced the integration of the campus in Birunapadi village of Kunjor district, Odisha. Navin Patnaik, Chief Minister of Odisha and dignitaries from other fields of industry, art, music, agriculture, sports and business attended the event. The school is designed to be secular and a non-profit institution that is spread across 10 acres of land at Birunapadi village in Kunjor district of Odisha. The founder of the school is Dr. Pradeep Sethi, a follower and a lifelong student of the Yovara Satsanga Foundation set up by Sri Paramahansa Yovaranda. The entire management, including teachers and lesson members of YAS, the senior leadership consists of Kripyans, according to the press release issued by the school. The 
releases further said that the school is a module to achieve all ground growth to the students through their high standards of education and spiritual values of their Indian ashramas. It is a system of education that aims at physical, mental and spiritual well-being of a future generation that will fulfill our emotional and spiritual needs and appreciate the glow goal behind this school, Patna said. Startup Incubation and Innovation Center at Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur has organized a two-day startup festival Apivyakti from March 4th to 5th, 2023 at the Institute. The Institute organized the fest to bring together the people from different walks of life including building entrepreneurs, government officials, industry representatives, investors, investors and mentors from across the country. SIIC IIT Kanpur signed an agreement with the Hinduja Group to co collaborate on promoting the startup ecosystem in India by providing crucial support to the building entrepreneurs, fostering innovation and driving growth in the Indian startup ecosystem. The inaugural session also witnessed the launch of the SIDBI Seed Equity Support Scheme. According to the official IIT Kanpur release, SIDBI is setting up a pilot fund of Rs 50 crore. 10 crore each year through this fund will be used for supporting the hard tech startups incubated at the SIIC IIT Kanpur. As a part of the festival, several revolutionary innovations will be showcased. Agritech, clean tech, cyber security, fine tech, health, healthcare, infrastructure, defense, sustainability, the internet of things and artificial intelligence were just of the some sectors that participated in the inaugural day. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Education News Network. For more such videos, to log on to my website, theenn.com, and do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.